Wolverines, this is Mr. Sikora, your proud principal. As we wrap up the first semester, I wanted to share some important information with you regarding changes that are taking place at the middle school for the third card marking, which begins on Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. First of all, in case you weren't aware of this, prior to the start of the school year, your parents had the option to choose in-person learning or 100% virtual learning for you for the first semester. As you know, about half of the students returned to school in the fall as in-person learners, and the other half of the students attended class virtually. In November and December of this past year, your parents were again given the option to choose in-person learning or 100% virtual learning for you for the third card marking. Based on the fact that we had an increase in the number of in-person learners for the third card marking, changes needed to be made to the school day, class schedules, bell schedule, lunch schedule, etc. to ensure that in-person class sizes supported the recommended safety and social distancing measures that have been provided to the district by the county and state. It's important to know that letters were mailed home to families on January 12th, 2021. In addition, this information was provided to families via school messenger and remind. Student schedules were carefully crafted for the third quarter to ensure that class sizes supported social distancing and the recommended safety measures provided to us by the county and state. One significant change to student schedules is that an elective course has been eliminated for the third card marking, which results in you having six class periods. Please note if you are a seventh or eighth grader who was enrolled in both band and Spanish during the first semester, you or your parents will be contacted with more information regarding, regarding your learning options for these classes. It is important to understand that due to all of the logistics that go into the scheduling process, you may have one or more different core content teachers than you had for the first semester, or you may be repeating an elective course, such as PE, art, etc. Please know that student schedules will not be changed. We will not accommodate requests for different teachers, new electives, or a change in the scheduling structure. We thank you in advance for your understanding in this matter. You will be able to view your schedule for the third card marking in the PowerSchool app by Friday, January 15th, 2021. If you are an in-person learner, and if you do not have access to the PowerSchool app, staff will direct you to your first hour class upon return to the building on Tuesday, January 19th, 2021, and your first hour teacher will provide your third quarter class schedule to you. In regard to your Schoology account, your third quarter courses, materials, and content will be available sometime by Monday, January 18th, 2021. Now let's look at the daily bell schedule as it has changed. If you are an in-person learner for the third card marking, you will be attending classes first through sixth hour. This means that your first class period will begin at 8, 10 a.m. and your school day will end during the sixth hour class time frame, which is 2.10 p.m. If you are a virtual learner for the third card marking, you will be attending classes second through seventh hours. This means that you will begin school at 9.18 a.m., which is the start of the second hour class period, 
and your school day will end at 3.09 p.m., which is the conclusion of the seventh hour class period. Now let's take a look at the advisory and lunch schedules. There will be three lunch periods, lunch A, lunch B, and lunch C. Your lunch period will be dependent upon your advisory class period. Please note that advisory class will no longer take place during first hour. Advisory class will either be third, fourth, or fifth hour. So, if your advisory class on your schedule is during your third hour class period, that means you will have lunch A. If your advisory class is fourth hour, that means you will have lunch B. And if your advisory class is fifth hour, that means you will have class or lunch C. Here is the schedule for the early release Wednesdays or Wolverine Wednesdays. And you can follow this schedule accordingly on Wednesdays. Now, let's take a look at a couple of pictures from the lunchroom. The lunchroom will look much different than it has in the past. We have identified the lunchroom as a location in which we needed to make improvements in regard to your safety, specifically in regard to proper social distancing. As you can see in these pictures, the long cafeteria tables have been replaced with six foot tables. Only two students will be allowed to sit together at a table. All tables in the lunchroom will be spaced six feet apart. For everyone's safety, unless you are in line, throwing away trash, or using the bathroom, it is imperative that you remain in these socially distanced seats throughout the entire lunch period. Upon conclusion of eating your lunch, you will be required to put your mask back on. Please note that for those of you that will be learning 100% virtually, lunches will also be available for pickup at the administration building, which is located at 12900 Fraser Road, daily Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Please note that all of this information will be available on the middle school website homepage. So if you would like to access this information again, or you would like your parents to view this information, you can go to the middle school's homepage and access the presentation here. On behalf of Mrs. Volker and the entire middle school staff, we are looking forward to a safe and successful third card marking.